We're going to take a look at how to create some parts based on dimensions that you're given from a multi-view. So in other words, we're going to create this isometric up here. But we do actually have given dimensions. and We have some hidden lines to deal with. So let's take a look. So in Onshape, I'm going to actually create and say Document. And for this, I'll just call it L-Piece. And I'll choose Create. Now, there are several ways to take a look at this. I think what we'll do is just start with the front view. So we know the overall is 2.8 wide. We also know that it's 3.5 tall. So let's go ahead and take care of that. So we're 2.8 and 3.5. So I'm going to go to sketch and click that front plane and press in for normal. I like to start on the origin. And I'll just draw a rectangle. Now we said that it is 2.8 wide. And then if I press enter, we remember it's 3.5 tall. So let's do that. So we'll say 3.5. So right now we've got something like that. Now I also know that there's a rectangle that comes down, looks something like this. Okay, so let's get those numbers. So from here, you know, from edge to edge, that looks like 0.550. And over here, it actually is a little bit smaller, isn't it? So this is going to be 2.8 minus 2.3, which is going to give us 0.5. So let's handle that. So I'll click in the dimension or press D. And I'll say from, I guess, this line to this line is 0.55. Press Enter. I'll go to dimension again, and I'll say from this line to this line, I can remember that that was 0.5. Okay, so slightly different there. So we got to be able to read that drawing. Now let's see. Can we find the dimension from the top to this line or from the bottom to this line? We'll see. Doesn't look like, well, it's there. I can do some subtraction, right? Or I can just say from the bottom to that line is 2. So let's do that. So again, dimension. We'll click this line or the point that the line's on. And that's supposed to be 2. That is is effectively that back part of the shape. So let's see, let's go ahead and extrude that. I wonder how thick that needs to be. So I'm looking at the blue here, right? How thick is that? So 2.5 minus 1.75. So we're looking at 0.75, right? So it's 0.75 thick. So let's do that. So we'll go ahead and hit uh, Shift E to get into extrude. I just want to click this shape though. Notice how it's trying to get the whole thing, so I've got to unclick that. For my depth, I'll change that to 0.75, like we said. And I'll go ahead and click the check mark. So, so far, I've got something like this. So, that's the back of the shape. Now, let's take a look. Let's see if we can get the front part of this. So, probably a really good view now is to look at the top view here, right? So it looks like I could draw a square coming off of there at about 1.75, and it's also 2.8 wide. Right? That's why we put dimensions between there. So 1.75 and 2.8. So I'll go to sketch here. I'm going to click there and go to normal. Start a rectangle right here on the origin, and just kind of drag it over. So this 2.8 already, how tall was that needed to be? 0.75. So over here, I'm going to say 0.75. Okay. And I'll go ahead and extrude this. So Shift and E. And remember, we wanted that to come out a distance of 1.75. So we'll change this depth to be 1.75. Make sure we're on add, right? So it'll add to the shape. That looks good. I'll go into sketch mode and I'm gonna click on this piece in particular and I'll press in to normalize. I do know that it's something like this, right? Just something like that. So let's go back in here and look at some dimensions. This says 0.5 and then 1.8 and then it's one inch deep. So 0 0.5, 1 1.8, and then it's one inch deep. So let's do that. So dimension, this line to this line, 
we make that be 0.5. And then we said, so dimension again, this line to this line is 1.8, so 1.8. And then we also know that this line has a depth of 1. Right? So we'll do Shift E to get into extrude. And all I'm really looking to do, I could take the arrow and drag it. But the problem is if I'm not on remove up here, it's not going to take it away. So when we were at add, it's going to continue adding material. We actually need to click the word remove here. And then I'll take the material out. We'll click the green check mark and we're finished. Now, if we really want a clean look at this, we can actually turn off the construction planes by clicking over here where it says default geometry. So we can un, you know, the eyeball here, we can click it and it'll hide those. So if we want a real clean look at it, we can. If we need those back, we just go right over here and click the eyeball again.